Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Chavez here with Fandroid. Now, E3 was last week and I'm actually still kind of, um, as you can tell, recovering from the whole event. But um, I was on hand there and I got to play um, not only some of the coolest console games and stuff that were coming out, but um, some of like the mobile games like um, Desert Winds uh, for the Xperia Play and um, Shadow Gun for uh, the Tegra 2 devices like the G2X. Another cool game that they were showing off at the T-Mobile uh, Tegra 2 slash G2X booth um, on the showroom floor uh, was a game called Sprinkle. Now I'm sure a bunch of different scenarios kind of go through your mind when um, someone tells you that they have this cool new game app and it's called Sprinkle. R. Kelly maybe one of them? But once um, I got a chance to see exactly what this game was all about, I was totally in love with it. The two developers of the game were actually um, on hand to show off everything. And um, I kept in touch with them and they actually sent me a review copy or a, I guess a demo of sorts so that I could uh, then share this totally amazing um, game app for you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly, I'm going to walk through the first three levels of the game and just show you guys everything that we got to play with at E3. And let me just tell you, everyone that played it had the same thing to say about it. They were just like, this is a really cool game, it's totally different. I feel that it's going to be like the next big thing on Android and iOS for sure. Up there with like Angry Birds and all that stuff. So uh, the two developers definitely have some success coming their way. And it doesn't really hurt that they were uh, pretty good looking dudes. Just want to add that. So just sit back and check out my little preview for Sprinkle. Specifically for NVIDIA Tegra 2 devices. Drip, drip, drip. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Sprinkle, um, a truly awesome and unique game by Mediocre Games. Uh, it should have a little splash screen here with Mediocre, and it's kind of funny because, I mean, their stuff ain't anything close to Mediocre. Preview version for Fandroid.com. Do you guys see that? Yeah, it's real nice. Okay, so right off the bat on the start screen here, you're going to see, um, it kind of gives you a basic feel of like the design of the game. Um, very simple. Uh, I don't, I don't really know how to explain like the whole <clears throat> design aspect. It just looks really, really nice and clean. Um, I guess right off, they just want you to know that what makes this game a little more special is the fact that you have ridiculously awesome uh, water mechanics and physics, and they seem to have totally nailed them. Uh, I can seriously just sit here and just watch these little um, houses sprinkle each other all day long, like. Really, I can't I can't get over how awesome the water looks sometimes. It's just it's remarkable. Okay, but moving on. Um, if you click the eye here, it'll give you just the information. Dennis Gufuston and Henrik Johansson. Um, I actually met, these are the two guys that I met at E3. Super nice guys, totally awesome, all smiles. They're excited about their game and um, might have been a little bit of a language barrier, but they were still very cool. As far as the options go, there isn't um, too much, just music on or off. I'm going to keep it on for now. Um, again, this is an extremely, extremely early build that they are sending me here. This is kind of like the demo that they were showing off at E3, so um, if anything acts weird or buggy or just kind of overall strange, I mean, don't hold it against them. The game isn't coming out for another couple months, so relax on that. Um, if I click this little uh, movie clicker thing, it's going to show the intro, and I just want you guys to see that to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Oh, space tours. So, it looks like these people were taking a tour, they crash landed, and they made it rain on these little folk that live on Mars. <laughs> they hit one of Saturn's um, belts and it just made all these asteroids come so uh, I guess the townspeople were forced to make a little um, a fire truck to put out all the fires that are going on everywhere so it's your fault that this that their planet is on fire and we need to put it out so let's just jump into the game without further ado you can see here you can adjust the little fire truck 
Um, basically move anywhere on the screen to adjust the angle and then you just squirt all of those meteors and whatever is on fire <clears throat> to put it out. So let's go ahead and get started. Boom. Oh yeah, five drops. Um, the goal is to try to get as many drops as possible. It's kind of like Angry Birds where they have stars, one star, two star, three stars. Um, so five stars is a perfect, and I just nailed it. Okay, so you can see here the puzzle is getting a little more complicated, and boom, another asteroid hits. So um, if you do waste too much time, uh, the fire will start spreading, and it'll get to one of the huts, and if the huts burn down, then you got to start over. So you kind of have to get get moving. You can't just sit around doodly one all day. Um, I am going to get some physics going on here. I'm going to fill up behind this rock with a ton of water so that it pushes the rock out. Clogs up and makes a little reservoir. Then I'm going to fill up the reservoir with water and put out these last two fires. <coughs> Thus saving the townsfolk. And of course, or not of course, but you have a little water gauge here, so you can't just keep squirting water forever. Yes! One star? I could have done that better, really? I'll have to figure that out later. I think I got three stars last time. Okay, here it's getting a little trickier. Oh, really? Okay. Um, let's just squirt this rock. Okay. Oh man, there's a little fire. Put it right here. Let's see if we can put out this stuff. <clears throat> I need more, more power. Okay, there goes one, and then now we gotta put this last one over here. Boom! And this one is actually really, really hard. I think I only beat it like one time, but it gets pretty tricky because you have these, that meteor up there that's gonna spread to those houses, and most of the time the houses burn before you can even get to them. So I put out that fire there. Let's drop this guy down here like it's hot. Wait a second. Alright, here we go. And then I gotta shoot water to push the rock. Come on, get out of there, get out of there. Alright, push the rock, push the rock, push the rock, hurry! Oh, I'm doing it. And you can see up there the house is already starting to die, so... Not good. Oh, the house is gonna burn down! Once the house burns down, you're gonna see it's gonna totally fail, so... Come on, get him! Push. No, don't push him too far now. Push that darn rock. You push him over. Okay, good. Not enough time, not enough time, not enough time, not enough time. Move, rock, move. Come on, no, 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 wait, 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 water's coming. Water's coming. Hang on there. Hang on there, guys. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on, water's coming. No! Gosh. Oh, there we go, there we go. No, no, hurry, no! Jeez! Roll the rock. Just roll the rock! Oh, the house is going down right now. The house is dead. The house is dead. Oh, my. Alright, unclog the water, unclog the water, I get it, I get it. Push the rock, push the rock, 
Push the rock. Push the rock! Okay, so sprinkle mediocre games. You guys have pretty much got the gist of it. Some pretty awesome um, water physics. The sounds are cool. It has a great ambience about it. Um, it's just overall a beautiful looking game. Uh, when it comes out on the market, it's going to hit in September. And I think this is going to be the next awesome, awesome game. Everyone that saw it at E3 was totally enthralled by it. So um, definitely look out for it in September. And I'm going to keep in touch with the mediocre guys and see if we can't maybe give away a demo for one of our lucky uh, readers. I am Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching my little review slash tutorial on sprinkle. I gotta pee now.